The mountain lion, scientific name Puma concolor, is one of the least seen species of wild animal in the United States. This is not only due to dwindling numbers due to the human's constant deforestation of the lion's habitat and poaching of the animal itself, but also due to the hunting style of this animal, where it is not seen until it is too late. In this short documentary, we will be going over the mountain lion's life cycle, habitat, predators, and prey, and finally, how they interact with humans, which will prove the main point, that mountain lions are misunderstood animals that we have no reason to be afraid of if they are treated with respect. Mountain lion cubs are born with spots. These spots are used as camouflage that are supposed to simulate light going through the leaves and landing on some areas of the ground and not the other. Mountain lion cubs, and many other cat species for that matter, are born with blue eyes, but they will later change to yellow about one and a third years after they are born. These cubs are completely reliant on their mothers and will only become independent until about two years after their birth. When fully grown, mountain lions can be 7 to 11 feet long including the tail, 75 to 200 pounds heavy, have 1 to 6 cubs, live up to 18 years, and go as fast as 54 miles per hour, according to nhnature.org. This species also has two distinct ways of hunting. These include stalking their prey until they find the right time to pounce, and sitting on a tree or rock ledge, waiting for prey to pass underneath them. The deer is one of the mountain lion's biggest prey items, along with the wild hog, although they can still hunt smaller animals such as rabbits and rodents, as well as bigger animals such as, in very rare cases, elk and moose, giving them the title of apex predator. The mountain lion is not alone at its apex predator spot, as it faces competition from brown bears, wolves, and in some cases coyote and black bears. In most cases, this competition appears over protecting territory, a hunted animal, or offspring. Individually, mountain lions could take down a wolf and could definitely take down a coyote, but due to the large numbers of these canines that they travel together with, they can often emerge victorious. The mountain lion also appears in the jungles of South America and Mexico, where they face a new kind of competition. The jaguar is a closer relative to the mountain lion in the fact that it is part of the feline Felidae family, although they are separated at genus. The jaguar has a panthera genus, which classifies it as a big cat, meaning that it can roar. The mountain lion does not have this genus, meaning it can only yowl. The mountain lion is longer than the jaguar, but the jaguar is heavier. The mountain lion can leap long distances, but the jaguar has a bigger bite force. Jaguars win most battles that arise between these two giant cats. Like most animals, the majority of mountain lions' lives have been in some way affected by humans. Mountain lions live within forests that can border a city, town, or village. The inhabitants of this area may decide to relocate these animals or attempt to kill them in order to protect themselves. Although, despite this thinking, there have been only 27 deaths by mountain lions in North America in the past 100 years. Meanwhile, an average of 98 mountain lions are killed each year according to sanluisobosipo.com. The mountain lion has had an effect on humans even before we really had an industrial effect on them with some Native American tribes connecting the mountain lion with spiritual ideas and worshipping puma-like gods. They connected puma with patience, courage, agility, and dedication. We have also given many different names for this species. The most common are mountain lion, puma, and cougar, but they are also called catamounts, shadow cats, panthers, and about 30 other names. When Europeans first arrived in the New World, a myth says that a trapper had sold mountain lion skins to the new settlers, claiming that they were real lions that were native to America, and the reason none of them had manes was because the males went into the mountains when it's not breeding season, which is apparently how they got the name mountain lion. It does not matter though if it is true that these people believed that these animals were lions or not, as they faced a large amount of trapping and hunting either way. Not only was the puma killed for their hides, but also for the protection of livestock, deer herds, and the safety of the settlers and frontiersmen who settled the woods. As you can see, this constant trapping and hunting has taken a large toll on these animals' numbers. As before, their numbers were spread all throughout the country, but are now 
kept only on the western side, with a very small amount that still live in Florida, and some that will wander a little farther eastward by a state or two. Coming in contact with a lion does not immediately mean death. Instead, you should consider yourself lucky that you found such an amazing animal and immediately take safety procedures. If you see the lion and it does not see you, the best thing to do is start slowly and quietly moving back to where you had come from, and maybe even getting out of the area completely. If you see the mountain lion and the mountain lion sees you, stand your ground or move back very, very slowly. Never run or play dead when you see a mountain lion. If you run, the mountain lion will instinctively chase you, and if you play dead, it will make it way easier to kill you. You should wave your arms at it, throw rocks, yell at it, or do anything you can do to make yourself look as big as it intimidating as possible. If a mountain lion attacks you, once again do not run or play dead. You have to fight back using bear spray, Swiss army knives, sticks, rocks, or even your bare hands. Only about 25% of mountain lion attacks are deadly. In conclusion, mountain lions are an elusive species of cat that are unique and important to our environments in the fact that they are an American apex predator that keeps deer and other prey species numbers low so that they can't overpopulate an area. Although they are very powerful creatures, they have treated with respect and caution. Everyone can live with mountain lions peacefully without needing to kill or relocate them, possibly leading to more diverse ecosystems all over the domain of the mountain lion.